Hi there, and welcome to another video of Made with Cables. My name is Mark, my handle on the forums is Andro, and today, in the second part of the ongoing tutorial series, I'll be showing you how to get this textured model from Sketchfab and how to prepare it to import it inside of cables to get something similar to what we see here. So without further ado, let's get started. So the link to the model is um, underneath the YouTube video or inside a comment inside of the patch. So just click that to go here. So now I'm going to click Download 3D Model. And you're going to want to download the GLTF file format right here. Now, I've already downloaded it. You then want to, go to extract that inside of the folder. And then I'm going to end up with something like what you see here. We have some textures. And here we have the GLTF file. OK, so now I'm going to go into Blender. Uh, I'm going to press A to select everything. I'm going to press X to delete everything. Now I go to File. Now I'm going to go to Import, GLTF. I'm now going to go to the Downloads folder. I'm going to go in here and uh, double-click Scene.GLTF. Now everything's really big, so I use the mouse wheel to zoom out. So I'm going to press A to select everything, and I'm going to press S to scale. I'm going to crank it down, zoom in again, S to scale. There we go. So this is the model without any textures. OK, so one of the problems you can have is you normally want to keep your textures separate from your mesh. Uh, this is going to be different, obviously, with each uh, kind of 3D program that you use. But I like to show it with Blender because it's open source, so everybody can use it. So you're going to click these triangles here, and you're going to make everything available there. And what we now need to do is we click the object, and then we go here to the Material section. And this part here where it says Surface. Now, that shader has a texture bound to it. Now, we don't want to have like 10 or 14 MB of texture files inside of a mesh. We want them separate because we already downloaded them. So I'm going to just click this. I'm going to click Remove. And you're just going to do this for every single object. So what that does is it makes sure that the material is still assigned, but that the texture um, isn't exported with it. So I'm just going to keep on doing this. Great. So now I'm going to just click here, press A to select everything. Now I'm going to go to File, Export, and I'm going to export the GLB file format. So I'm going to make sure that GLB is clicked here. If you're not sure about this, just take a look at the previous tutorial. So I'm just going to click all this here. I'm going to say Selected Objects. And that's it. So I'm going to just go to the Downloads folder, go inside the same map, and I'm just going to call this um, forest exports. I'm going to click export like that. OK, cool. We've exported it. So I'm going to minimize this now. And I'm going to go into cables. So I just want you to pause the video and make what you see here. OK, great. So now I'm going to pull this trigger out. And I'm going to grab the GLTF scene up. This allows me to load a GLB file. I'm going to click add. OK, so we don't have a GLB file. So I'm going to go here. And here we can see my uh, file, forestexports.glb. I'm going to click. I'm going to drag into the Cables browser. Here's the Upload section and let go. That now gets uploaded like this. So now I'm going to click this. And I'm going to click GLB file. And this is the one that I exported, Forest Exports. I'm going to click. And there it is. So I can now use the Orbit controls to look around. So I'm going to click the GLTF Scene up, Show Structure. And here we can see the materials and the sections of the mesh. So right now, I want to get rid of these rectangles and these ones here. So I'm going to click 10, um, and then 3, and then 4. Now, I just want to show you something that confused me a bit at the beginning. I'm going to click Clear Color. I'm going to move this up a little bit. So if we go back to the Show Structure, and pop it open there, and click 4. Uh, where was it? This one, number three. So if we go to the Sketchfab model and we zoom out, the user put it inside that model inside of this really big mesh to kind of like give this like shaded look, I suppose. So that's what we're looking at there. That's how we then get the clear color back. So this is how we can expose certain parts of the mesh right there. So now what I need to do is I need to assign textures to the model. So I'm going to click the GLTF scene up. I'm going to click Show Structure. And the first thing I want to start with is, say, this log right here. 
Now, if I'm going to look, I think that was this one. Yeah, so we can see that um, this uses material 20. So I'm going to go to material 20, and I'm going to click Assign. Now, what Cables does is it automatically creates this GLTF set material up. Now, what this needs is a material. So I'm going to pull this up. And I'm going to type in basic material. Now, this is going to need a trigger. So I'm going to put that there. So there's two ways of doing this now. I could type in um, texture and then grab the texture up. A really nice cool way to do it is if you click the basic material and you click this little plus icon, it's going to automatically create it. Now, as you can see, this default texture here has been assigned to that part of the mesh. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go over here to the forest scene and we're going to just import all the textures that we need. So I'm just going to um, select all of these here. I don't need these bottom three. And I'm going to click and drag them into cables. As you can see, I hover with the mouse, and it shows me the progress bars for everything there. So far, so good. So it's really nice and easy to assign a material now. So it's material 20. So I'm just going to click texture, browse file, and I'm going to look for material 20 base color. And I click that. And as you can see, this texture is now being applied to those parts of the mesh. So now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to copy this and I'm just going to paste it there. I'm going to put this here and then I'm going to look at the next part. So I'm going to click show structure. I'm going to pop this open and then I'm going to look for the trees. So let's take a look here. I think it's this one. Yeah. So this uses material one. So I can also go here now and I can just type in one. And I'm going to assign this there. I'm going to click the texture and I click the file to browse. And then I look here for material one, base color. Great. Now, as you can see, there's a little thing that we've got here. There's these like light green um, squares. So the, the transparency isn't really working correctly. It doesn't, doesn't look right. So what we need to do is we need to use a opacity map that's here. So I'm going to copy and paste this texture up. I'm going to plug it in there. I'm going to click the texture up. I'm going to go here. And in this case, um, it's been called Material 1 Emissive by Sketchfab. So I'm going to click this. I'm going to press Escape. And then what we do is we go down here and we go to the basic material up. We need to make sure that these two options here are selected. And as we can see, we now get, let me just zoom in a little touch, a bit tight for space today. We now get like the correct edges there, but the tree looks a little bit wrong now. So what I do is I click the basic material up and the alpha mask source is now the brightness, but we don't want that. We want the alpha. And when I click that, we now get the color back and we get these nice, clear, transparent edges. So that's pretty much all you've got to do if the alpha data is correct with the texture. So, so far, so good. This is going pretty quick. I'm now just going to copy this here. And I'm going to paste it. And now what I want to do is I'm going to take a look, and plug this in. And what I now want to do is I want to find the rocks. So if I'm correct, that was this one. There we go. So there's that rock like right there. Let's take another look. Now, of course, I've already prepared this so the tutorial can go a bit quicker. So material 21. So I'm just going to click this. And I'm going to put this on 21. I'm going to go to the texture, click this. I'm going to look for material 21, base color. There we go. That's looking good. OK, so now I want to do um, the um, island. So I'm going to just copy this and I'm going to paste it. I'm going to put that there and I'm going to click the show stretch. And I'm just doing the same thing here so you can see the workflow. And I think that's this one, 22. Yep. So that's the, the bottom part of the island right there, as you can see. So I'm going to just do this. Zoom out a little touch. OK, so I'm going to pull this over there. So I need to make this one now 22. So that was the correct one. I click the texture up, click this, and I look for material 22, base color. And as you can see, we now get that there. So far, so good. And now one of the last things that I want to do is I click the GLTF scene up. I open this up. And we're looking at this grass part 
here, that's all of these different parts there that you can see. So that's material 23. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to copy, paste this. I'm going to put it there. And I'm going to set the material to 23. And now I'm going to get this and I'm going to put it there. And now I'm going to click the texture. And I'm going to click material 23 base color. There we go. This already has the correct um, alpha data encoded. So, so far, so good. Look at this. This is looking really nice. And that's how quick and easy it is to get this um, textured look on this model like this. So now what I want to do is I'm going to just show you if we put the clear color down a little bit and we make it a little bit darker. Um, then everything pops out a little bit more. So there's a couple of different things here that I discovered while um, working on this. So these are the trees, right? So if we're going to look here at these edges, and we're going to have to zoom in a little bit for that. Right there. Can you see this? Those like kind of black edges there. So I just want to show you, if you click the basic um, material, uh, sorry, if you click the texture up here, what we have is we have different um, texture filtering options, nearest linear and MIP map. There we go. So as you can see, if we click nearest now or linear or MIP map, we can get a different look. Now, the thing is, sometimes if you have flickering with a model, um, you basically might want to put it on MIP map. It's more expensive, but it will smooth things out. So let me just reset here with the orbit controls to go back. Let's put the transform down a little touch. So we're just going to move it down and we're going to, we're going to rotate a little touch. Let's put it back a little bit again. So it's looking like this. And now I just want to make it rotate so I don't have to keep on doing this um, by hand. So I'm going to get this timer and I'm going to plug it into rotation Y. I'm going to put the speed on say um, six. Okay, great. So now we've got this kind of view there of the model. That was the basics of how to get a model from Sketchfab, how to put it into Blender, and how to prepare it uh, for cables. So I hope this video has been educational and informative. If you've got any questions or comments, please feel free to leave them under the video below or to post them on the forums. Thanks for watching, and have a good one. Bye.